Bristol Community College, Mathematics with Dan Avedikian, AccuPlacer Review, Quantitative Reasoning, Algebra, and Statistics, Problem 8. This is Problem 8. It says which one of the following is equivalent to the expression. And we have negative 6 minus 3, some parentheses around the negative 2, and a 4 in the denominator. So first of all, what do the parentheses around the negative 2 really mean? That's a way of indicating that they want you to do a multiplication. So you have 3 times negative 2. Now the other question is, does this 3 in front count as a negative 3? Or is it a positive 3 and then you subtract the answer? The, the answer is you should be able to consider it either way. Um, and you should get the same answer, of course. So now we have a subtraction going on um, and there's a multiplication, there's a division. You have to do parentheses first. Now you don't see any parentheses, but this fraction bar is considered like a type of parentheses, a grouping symbol. So we have to get the numerator down to one number. That's the first thing we have to do one value in the numerator. Now even there, there's two things going on in the numerator. There's the subtraction and the multiplication. So with that, you, which one happens first? You have to do the multiplication first. Even though it's not written for us, it must be done first. So we're going to have negative 6 minus, so I'm thinking of this as just as a 3, so I'm going to go 3 times negative 2. Now remember, a positive times a negative, you're going to get a negative 6. You still have the 4 in the denominator. Now, that minus a minus, when you have the two negatives together like that, they cancel and they become a positive. So what you have is negative 6 plus 6 over 4. Now, get the numerator down to one number, negative 6 plus 6, while well, they cancel each other off, you have 0. So you have 0 over 4, which means 0 divided by 4. Um, whenever you have a 0 in the numerator, the answer is just automatically 0. You cannot have a zero in the denominator. That means an answer is undefined or the answer does not exist. But zero in the numerator means the answer is zero. It reduces to zero. Zero in the numerator is okay. Zero in the denominator is very bad. So zero over four reduces to zero. If you look at your options, one of them is zero. A is four, it's not that. B is six, not that. C is zero, so it's that one. D is negative three. Now remember in the beginning, I had said you want to get one number in the numerator and you are you thinking of this as 3 times negative 2 or a negative 3 times negative 2? And I said you should be able to do it either way and get the same answer. Let's do a negative times a negative and you're going to get a positive 6. What then? So this negative 6 is in front. Negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. You still have the 4 in the denominator. And now negative 6 plus 6 is still 0 over 4, which still reduces to 0. So it's still the same answer. You really can consider it either way. So whichever way you choose, the answer is option C, which is zero.